guys, Danny O'Brien here. I've been here on this team for five, going on six years now. Uh, and I've, I've experienced just the growth of this organization and the team and the culture that, that we have here and these core values that we came up with. Um, the one I'm choosing is uh, the willingness to get uncomfortable. Um, it's something that, something I've heard in my brain since I started playing football, uh, and especially our coaches talked about it in college football um, almost every day. Uh, because you're not growing unless you're trying something new or unless you're challenging yourself, whether that's personally, business, with your family, uh, physically. There's so many ways to challenge yourself in this world, and uh, I think a lot of us get um, get comfortable in you know this you know when we find a little bit of success or a little bit of you know uh, momentum in our life, and then then we take our foot off the gas. And what I've learned in real estate is that's just it's just it can't be in your in your DNA to take the foot off the gas, or else you're going to struggle, and you're going to have you're going to have uh, you know a roller coaster of a business. And um, so being uncomfortable, I mean, is everything from challenging yourself with your your workout, your work ethic, when you're going to show up in the office, um, you know, pushing the needle. If you showed up at 8:05 yesterday, show up at 8:03 today. You know, just making yourself a little bit better every day, and those simple little challenges can get addicting and you'll find yourself wanting to challenge yourself more in, um, in every, every facet of life. And um, it's just something that's always driven me. Um, and my coach always used to say, get comfortable being uncomfortable because that's about to be the next five years of your life. So um, I, got, I got used to it pretty quickly and, and it's just something, it's a, it's a place where I'm comfortable at now and it's a place where I try and strive to do more. Hey, I'm David Nemmer with the John Wentworth Group. It's been a, always a trait of mine just to be able to do things out of the ordinary that step ahead of the game, uh, to take that initiative and look at things and say, you know what, let's try something different because you'll never know where your life will lead you unless you get uncomfortable a little bit. And that entails in work process and in life process. You know, I've learned over the years to have fun, to get uncomfortable, to do things that you haven't done before, to find out things that you may enjoy. Things that I've enjoyed in the past, um, obviously uh, water skiing, barefoot skiing, things like that. I'm a little older now, so I'm not as inclined to do that, but I've taken the initiative of getting uncomfortable to be able to do those things, to find out the things that I love and have passion for, and then find others that have that same passion and we can share that experience. The part about getting uncomfortable uh, in the workforce is that sometimes, you know, there are situations that happen in real estate and in other parts of business that we have to force others' hands in order to protect our clients. And sometimes people aren't uh, very comfortable about doing that. And quite frankly, nobody is. But the key is, is to be able to make sure you take care of your clients, make sure you do what's best for your clients, and that you look out for their best interests. And some of those times that you need to have an uncomfortable conversation with others, like the other real estate agents, title companies, and etc. So those willingness to get uncomfortable allows us to be able to move forward in not just life, uh, but business life and personal life. So I hope you enjoyed my little thing about being uncomfortable. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I'm David with The One With Group.